Hey guys, Jason121 here with our newest video this week. Um, I'm going to be talking about Rage of Bahamut a little bit more, about the upcoming events and events that have just finished. So let's start off by talking about evolving cards a little bit. I touched on that just a tiny bit on my last video. I would like to go into more detail. Here we have um, the Phoenix, which is one of the first treasure rewards. I'll also be talking about that a little bit later in the video and talking about how our order works and why you should definitely join order and hopefully our order um, and a little bit uh, a couple other things and rewards and such okay so moving on to our next slide you can see the progression of cards um, this is a high normal level one card so if you combine four of these archangels which you can see the progression of the orbs till its final max of four orbs how it then ends up has a rare card instead of a high normal. And of course, from normal name to plus, 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 and then that nickname Archangel. And how the stats increase dramatically as that progresses. Um, also, you can see here the skill. And of course, it starts off at skill level 1. And how you actually advance the skills rather than just enhancing the card is different. You have to feed it cards that already have abilities. And it will give you a percentage sign. Usually it's in the low 10 to 12s. Unless you dump a whole bunch of effect cards. Which are usually at least ranked at a high normal if not rare. I've actually gotten up cards to the percentages of 64 plus percent. And used a uh, Queen Angel card which dramatically increases that rate. And still had it fail in not enhancing the card's special skill level. So, I've also, on the other hand, had a card's effect go off at as low as 12%. So, take that with a grain of salt and, you know, don't risk too much when doing that, guys. But, um, you know, one other thing is sometimes people wonder, should I use just a minimum of 4 cards to get it to its max level? Or should I use the maximum of 8 cards to get to its max level? And here's what I say on that. If it's a lower card that's just like a high normal and you're planning on using this as one of your five cards in your deck or one of the five cards in your defense deck, go ahead and do the full eight cards. It doesn't give it much of a boost, but enough to make probably a little bit of a difference. Um, now, as far as something that would be a high rare or S rare card, chances are you're not going to be able to find all eight of those cards. So go ahead and do the four men. Uh, it's not going to make a huge difference in the end. Um, and it's not worth taking the time, the effort, or the money or resources trying to get the extra cards for just that small boost. Here's some of the treasures that you'll get. You can get these from uh, low-level quests, and you can also get these from battling other opponents. Um, personally, I've not had much luck fighting other opponents for this, so I prefer to do quests. Now, here's the thing. When doing quests... You usually get at least three, maybe four or five, but you won't normally get the full set out of doing quests, and it's random. Guys, this is where having an order, especially a really good order, comes in handy. Our order, House of Gods, is really good about this, and I have to give them props. Uh, we will take lower members or members of the same level, and sometimes even higher members, and we will trade back for uh, treasures, because once you max out your tre treasure level and you get all six of those cards, uh, excuse me, you get all six of those items and you get your card, you no longer have a use for them. So you can send them as gifts or trade them. Well, you actually can't trade them, but you can kind of work it into a deal, or you can donate it to your, uh, your order and help level it up, and then you'll get special effects, such as bonuses for your class level, or there's something called a wall, which I'll get more information on, Later on next week when I find out a little bit more. And decreases the amount of damage you take. And increases the amount of uh, attack percentage. And so on and so forth. So um, guys again to kind of reinstate. Our order is amazing about doing that. If you're missing one part of the treasure. In order to get that card. Somebody will normally send it to you. Or say hey send me a cure water. And I'll work on getting that for you. Or send me a holy powder. And I'll go fight for you and try to get that for you. Um, and a lot of times, it's worth it, because some of those cards that you get are really amazing. Um, an example of that would be this angel here. Uh, this card, I think, gives a medium or a high boost to god cards. So, if you are a god order, if that's your class, and if you have a church to give that 5% effect, and if you have this card here, also in your deck, maxed out with a high skill level, 
you're just doing massive amounts of damage as the bonus. So, you know, I think this card here is either a metal or a scroll, um, and, you know, you can just not get all those treasures by yourself. So trading, gifting is extremely important when it comes to this. And this is what the main screen looks like. Uh, for those of you that haven't played the game, uh, that's why I put this up, is you have your inbox. Now this will say, you know, when people want to trade with you or, you know, your trade results or if uh, you've leveled up and if you need to assign your attribute points. Or this can also say presents or gifts or rewards. So you want to click on that inbox anytime you see that come up. Also starting out, they really want you to max up and you get what's called legend card packs or LCP packs. Um, those are extremely rare. They're usually only given out as event gift items or you have to buy them. And they're kind of expensive even with real life money. So um, when you get that, whatever rare card you get from that, sometimes it's not a great rare card. But that's how you get the best items in the game. You gotta remember, Rage of Bahama is a money making game. So unfortunately there are a lot of microtransactions in that. But you don't have to do that to be a good player or to um, really have fun with the game, guys. But if you're willing to spend a little bit of money, I recommend save up 100 bucks and go for the huge package. Uh, you can get some really good deals for people willing to trade the Cure Waters. Now, I'm going to be talking about how you should kind of save those Cure Waters and Holy Powders until the next event comes up or unless somebody trades you something decent, okay? Also, you can see the Quest, Battle... Enhance and Evolve icons, and you can also see the Special Events icon. Uh, your normal main page, which is what's going to take you back to this. The Quest, which is what I've been talking about. Also, I'm going to talk about uh, the newest quest that came out this week, which is 6 one, 12 right now. Um, I beat that as fast as I possibly could. The final rewards are um, a Cure Water, a, I think, either a Magic Circle or a Holy Powder, so nothing spectacular. But what's really amazing about this is the reward you get rubies wise is 500,000. Now, if you want to make some really good friends, if you're trying to join an order, you take that 500,000, donate it to that order, that would probably put you in the top ranking list. It's kind of really important to be in that top ranking list, guys, because you get extra special bonuses and privileges, not just within the order and, you know, that uh, human resources, I guess you could say, social status but actual card effects. So that's pretty amazing. That's really useful. So check that out. Also, sometimes people, if they're running a little bit low and they need rubies to enhance or evolve their cards, which is this icon, so it's kind of like the currency of the game, they'll be willing to trade you some pretty decent stuff, especially if you throw down 500,000 rubies. Um, usually, I've seen this just once since I'm kind of a new player, but it seems like it's almost weekly or bi-weekly. They'll come out with special events like War of the Dragons. Definitely, definitely, definitely do this. Do this regular than just your normal quest. This is how you get some of the best items in the game. This is how you get a bunch of extra Cure Waters and Holy Powders. Um, also, I like this a lot bit more because I don't like to battle other players because I'm not really that great at it. And for my level, I think I'm around 70, 75. There are people that are just pure defense players. Um, or have used magic circles on a lot of the treasures, which is usually what I'm trying to get. And if somebody uses a magic circle on their item, you instantly lose. Um, I prefer to battle uh, monsters in like the World of Dragons effect, where I will use up my extra attack power um, to do that. And the rewards are so much more worth it, guys. Uh, definitely play these if you can. Not only do you just get the normal rewards, but at the end when they tabulate the results, you get your personal rank order reward, your personal damage rank reward, your personal order, uh, you know, you get your order reward, you get in-game rewards of if you kill so many dragons, you get this extra reward, if your order kills so many dragons, you get this reward. So much items, rewards, cards. Guys, this is the way to go. Do these events if you get the chance. Cannot emphasize that more. This event, unfortunately, has already ended. Um, I got an Angel Queen, a Siegman, a Stolas, and a Legendary Card Pack. Um, I didn't get much out of the Legendary Card Pack, unfortunately. I did trade it off for something decent. So, you know, guys, really worth it. 
through these events. And hopefully another one is going to be coming up. I don't know if it will be another Holy Wars or kind of a different version of that. But our order, we're going to be going into this hardcore. I'm going to be talking about our order and how to join that just a little bit later. In fact, I'm getting close to the end of this video. So please be patient with me. Um, you know, our order's name is House of Gods. Okay. Um, my username is jbo785. My referral code is RUM26800. Guys, be sure to use that referral code. If you use that referral code, what you'll be getting is you'll be getting a rare card called Valkyrie. Okay. People are willing to treat you really, really good stuff for this card. If you join the game and decide you don't like it, send it to me. I'd be extremely grateful. You also get 100,000 rubies, which if you donate that at the beginning of the game, puts you in really good standing with the order, okay? Um, guys, if you have any other questions, you know, be sure to message me in game. Message me here on YouTube. I'm real friendly, more than willing to answer any of the questions that you send me. Um... You know, be sure to check out my first Rage of Bahamut video, my second Rage of Bahamut video. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment on what you liked, you didn't like. And, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Jason121 signing off.